Maya Turski, who is by far the favorite to win this event, really dropped off, making a mistake early in her first run. Let's see if she can clean things up. And sending that 270 over the rail, definitely thinking about the speed for this jump. And one of the only girls we've seen with very clean speed right there. Nice clearance on the 540. And here she is, switch on. That's where she had trouble in run number one, cleaning it up this time around. And here she is, over the rail transfer, or the rail gap right there, from a rail to a box. About a 15-foot gap in between. And rolling in, switch now to the final jump. And Turski with a nice-looking switch 720 right there. And that is one of her bread and butter tricks, so smooth. And you'll see a difference right there between what we saw from Carrie Herman and what we saw from Kaya Turski on the takeoff. Great extension, really spotted that landing well, slowed down the rotation, and was able to put that to her feet. I think you'll see the uh, sort of the mix of an, of an incredible champion because she's currently in 10th spot facing the start of her second run in last position. And what does she do? Rises to the challenge, knows she has to deliver what she's capable of. Let's see where she goes from 10th. And there's that switch 720. Doesn't exactly lock the grab in really tight, but certainly uh, an improvement right there without question. She kind of soared over the rail up top too, which I'm sensing a bit of a deduction points wise for her. She needs a little bit of comfort food right now though. She needs a high scoring run right here so she can feel a little bit relaxed on her third run. But who knows how she'll react with her back up against the wall. She's normally not in that position where she needs to win on her third run. Awaiting the scores, most sought after, and currently our new leader, 89.66.